Hi, welcome to colinsia.com again. Today we want to touch on uh, chart patterns. Today we are touching on one of the reversal pattern. In chart pattern, there's two kind. One is a reversal, the other is a continuation pattern. Today we're going to touch on head and shoulder top, which is one of the reversal pattern. Okay, in head and shoulder top, we have a few points. Firstly, we have the left shoulder, which is a lower point, head, and then the right shoulder. Um, there is also a prior trend. The prior trend for head and shoulder top should be uptrend. This is the first prerequisite. Second thing, we have a left shoulder. Left shoulder, usually the volume is the highest of the three points. So look by head, the volume should be in the middle and the right shoulder volume should be the lowest. After it forms point E, there is a breaking of the neckline. Point D at B and D, when you draw a line connecting B and D, you should have a neckline. And when it breaks the neckline, this will be a completion of the head and shoulder pattern. Once we have a completion of the head and shoulder pattern, we can do a price projection. Price projection is the minimum price that uh, this pattern can achieve. From head C to the neckline, that will be the price projection from this point down. To this point that will be the minimum price target for head and shoulder pattern another thing to notice is the um, support turn resistance this was previously a support and when it breaks the neckline it will turn to a resistance okay so this is a simple uh, application example of a head and shoulder pattern left shoulder over here head and a right shoulder a neckline over here and a breaking of the trend line how you actually to trade this head and shoulder pattern is you can actually short on the first sign of decline on E short around 50 to 60 percent retracement or you can do a tight up trend line on D and E when it breaks the up, tight up trend line you can start to go short okay we touch on the first point short on the first sign on decline on E that will be this part once it reverse, you can start to go short but before that you need to identify the head and shoulder pattern first or at least a suspected head and shoulder pattern looking at the breaking of the uptrend line and also the volume second thing is uh, short around 50 to 60 percent retracement from the highest point if it retraces back up to the right shoulder this will be 100 percent down and retrace 15, 50 to 66 percent this is a suspected right shoulder okay so you can actually probe to go lower the last one is a tight uptrend line on D and E so what you do is from D and E you draw an uptrend line tight uptrend line and when it breaks this uptrend line you can start to go short another point to note is um, you can also go short only when breaking of the uh, completion of the head and shoulder pattern which is this point or in this diagram this point another way of doing is actually to wait for a throwback after a throwback when you see a confirmation of the resistance over here which was previously a support and when it turns down this can also be a point to short so actually you have a few methods to short you can probe over here you can uh, wait for a breaking of the neckline over here or even wait for a throwback over here so this summarizes how you can trade here and shoulder top and uh, I hope you can come back to our, our blog often thank you